team applause going for James Morris, people! Thank you, Matt. Very kind. Uh, hello, everybody. Good evening. Good to meet you. Hope you're all well. Uh, I'm James, uh, and I'm an addict. Right now, uh, I'm addicted to dressing up like a nun. I just can't lose the habit. Uh, so I used to be hooked on leftover Christmas dinners, but I quit cold turkey. Uh, I also recently got over a heroin addiction. Uh, yeah, to help with my recovery, uh, I'm selling all my She-Hulk comics, my Wonder Woman, my Supergirl, all that stuff. Get rid of it. It'll take a while, though. I I've got a lot of issues. Um, by the way, I realize I, I should apologize for reading off my phone. Uh, I know it's, it's very unprofessional, but I've got a really bad memory. Uh, like, specific words. I always forget just specific words for things. Uh, so every now and then, I might actually need you guys to help me out. Just like remind me of a word when I forget it. Is, is that okay? Can you guys do that? You reckon you can do that? Yeah? Okay. Mostly yeses. Few noes. Okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. So I try and use hobbies to distract from my addictions. Uh, like I play rugby. Uh, I prefer contact rugby, me, because uh, when you're playing glasses, they just fall off. <laughs> I uh, started going to one of those buildings. Um, ah. Yeah. Um, oh, the buildings where you go to exercise. What, um, what are they called? What, what, what are those buildings called? No, no, James. It's James. Um, you're not far off, but James. Uh, anyway, um, uh, I'm teaching my pet chameleon to play the piano. Uh, she doesn't know any songs, but her scales are beautiful. <laughs> uh, I went to Germany to visit a friend. Uh, he told me he had to go and get some Vipers. I said, oh, cool. What are you going to do with them? He said, oh, yeah, I put some onto windscreen off my car. <laughs> I once asked him if he knew how many lives a cat has. Apparently he didn't. <laughs> oh, that one came in waves. I recently took a test for narcissistic personality disorder. Uh, I got 100%. I mean, of course I did. I'm awesome and perfect and succeed at everything I do. Uh, actually, no, that's, that's not true. Um, my love life has not gone so well. Uh, like anyone else, I've got a few crazy ex-girlfriend stories. Uh, there was the one who'd been banned from a dating app. She was unhinged. <laughs> there was the Formula One driver. She went round the bend. And then there was the one with the fetish for pistachios. Uh, yeah. She was fucking nuts. <laughs> they weren't all bad, though. Uh, I once went out with a girl who grew up on a farm. How did I manage that, you ask? Easy. Step one of dating a farmer. A tractor. <laughs> Another girl once asked me if I'd ever been interrailing. I said, I used to like it, now I just get tired too quickly. Yeah. My latest ex was a real stiff upper lip type of girl, wonderful in a crisis, horrible kisser. <laughs> I should have known something was up with her when I saw that her flat was covered in Soviet Union memorabilia. There were a lot of red flags. <laughs> so we split up after, get this, she tries to pressure me into getting a vasectomy. I know, inconceivable. <laughs> So I was, I was lonely after the breakup. I went on a lot of walks around my neighborhoods. I went to the park to feed the, um, to feed, ah, uh, um, what's, um, what's, uh, what, what are the little birds at the park that you go to feed? What are they called? What are they, what are they? <laughs> Thank you guys, close one. Whew. Anyway, uh, my next door neighbors, uh, I saw they built this, this fucking awful, shitty, disgusting, terrible little wall around their garden. Um, no offence. <laughs> what else is there in my neighbourhood? Um, well, there's the barber where I go to get my hair cut, just off the top of my head. There's a charity shop. Uh, I went there and bought a very nice second-hand chair. It was satin. <laughs> I started building opticians around the corner. That's a sight for sore eyes. It's quite noisy in my town. Uh, I think it's because of the sports equipment factory down the road. They make a lot of racket. We've also got a military recruitment center. It's really warm in there because uh, they haven't had a draft in decades. Uh, I went to an electronics shop to get the latest iPhone. Um, back then it was the, uh, the iPhone 7, which I was really disappointed by because the one before that was a big success. <laughs> I got a camera there to take photos of my Christmas party, but I got rid of it after New Year's Eve. Uh, after New Year's Day, even. 
It didn't keep its resolution. A local cinema showing a movie about the man who invented the bathroom sink, based on a true story. It was, uh, I was in this fancy restaurant, finished my starter, and wanted to get my main course. The waiter said, entree? I said, no thanks, a plate will be fine. And there's this gallery where they display all the lovely, um, oh, no, not again. Oh, what's the, um, what's the stuff you display in a gallery? What, what's it called? What's, no, 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 James. You're not even close this time. James. Well, ah, oh, God, I thought I was one with a bad memory. Uh, I actually worked at the gallery for a bit, but they, um, they fired me because they said I was caught on camera acting like a painting. Yeah. They didn't believe me when I said I was framed. <laughs> I actually had a lot of jobs over the years. I can't seem to hold one down for long. Uh, I got fired from a furniture store because I brought in a stool sample. I managed this, this really terrible little salad bar. Like the, the, the hours were all right, but there was no celery. <laughs> uh, I used to deliver packages for Kim Jong-un. I was in North Korea. <laughs> Eventually though, I, uh, you know, I got tired of that and I moved to Seoul. I figured it was time for a career change. Uh, I got fired from another job for showing up in a suit of armor. I mean, I don't know what they expected. They hired me for the night shift. <laughs> Um, there's been a few jobs that I chose to leave just because you know, I wasn't enjoying them anymore. Uh, like, I was an accountant, and that was taxing. I was a restaurant critic, but I got fed up. I was a banker, so I lost interest. Uh, I was a mechanic, that was tiring. Uh, I was a solicitor, but I lost the will. I was a firefighter, but I got burnout. Uh, and by the time I quit working for a taxidermist, I was dead on my feet. Uh, I worked at one of those shops where you, um, oh, one of those shops where you go to buy meat. What are they, what are they called? What's the, name, what's the name of the shop where you go to buy meat? What's the name of the shop where you go to buy meat? Oh, um, yeah, I actually never found out why they fired me. I guess they had some kind of beef. Uh, so after that, I thought about being a surgeon. Uh, yeah, I figured I'd give being a surgeon a try. Uh, I went to the medical school's open mic night. Mike was a lovely guy, it turned out. We're still friends. Uh, he came to see my last show. Um, this one time, he asked me to make a Sunday roast. I said, oh, it's Sunday. You're basically just Saturday, but we're pressing. <laughs> Roasted. Boom. <laughs> uh, Mike's tried to help me out with the job search. He's a good guy. Uh, he offered me the chance to design a skyscraper, but I thought too many flaws in that plan. Uh, he offered me a job at his business uh, to selling sun cream. Uh, I said no because I didn't want to be spread too thin. Uh, and the other day he calls me up, says they're doing really well, sun cream sales are way up. I say, oh sure, rub it in. Uh, Mike once told me that he thought we would make great ventriloquist dummies. I said, speak for yourself. <laughs> uh, I have actually got a job now though. Uh, see, I, I spent a while working as a jockey. Uh, my horse was called Empty Sandwich, it was purebred. <laughs> Eventually, I started grooming the horses instead because you know, it's a more stable career. But you see, it's, it's not what I really want to do. See, it's always been my dream to work in a circus, but I just can't keep a job in one. Uh, I started as a human cannonball, but I got fired. Uh, then I became a trapeze artist, but I got let go. Uh, tried being a strong man, but they muscled me out. Tried a sword swallowing act, got cut. Tried tightrope walking, fell flat. And you won't believe this, when I said I could have a go at being a clown, they all laughed at me. I know, I know. So yeah, things really aren't going my way lately. No dream job, no relationship. I even found out my computer is transphobic. Yeah, doesn't accept non-binary. Bought some fortified cereal for my breakfast, but I just couldn't get in the box. Uh, I spilled some mayonnaise in my sink, and now Mexican people keep inviting me to parades. <laughs> Take a moment with that one, that's a thinker. Um. <laughs> yeah. There you go, there you go, you got it. I tried to do some social networking, but all the fishermen told me to fuck off. Uh, then my oars broke, so I had to put my boat on sail. Uh, I cut myself on a serrated knife. I mean, you know, that one wasn't too bad, it's just a little sore. <laughs> uh, I auditioned for a play, 
My friend told me to break a leg, so I fell off the stage. Don't worry, though. I ended up in a cast. <laughs> so, you know, given all that and the state of the world in general, uh, I want to end with something uplifting. So I've got a few things noted down here. <clears throat> right. Police. <laughs> Construction cranes. Lifts or elevators. You want to be all American about it. Uh, escalators. And lastly, um... Oh, no. Ah, oh, shit. No. Oh, what's in... The thing you use for, for cars. What's the thing you use to lift up cars? What's it? Yeah. No, no, it's James. I've been James. James Morris, thank you so much, everybody. You've been wonderful. Good night.